Getty Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin shared a phone call today the CIA sent Russia a tip-off that helped prevent a terrorist bomb attack on a cathedral in the Russia city, the Kremlin has revealed, and today the two leaders shared a short phone call during which Mr. Putin thanks Donald Trump for the Intelligence services efforts. A senior White House administration official confirmed the pair had spoken on Sunday. It comes just days after the pair spoke on the phone about North Korea. The Kremlin said information provided by CIA allowed Russian law enforcement agencies to arrest the would be attackers before they could carry out their plan. The foiled attack was to have been carried out on Kazansky Cathedral, in Russia's second city of St. Petersburg, and on other locations in the city where large numbers of people gather. Tuesday, August 1, 2017 Vladimir Putin as a young man Photographed in 1983 Russian media reported last week the Federal Security Service had detained followers of the Islamic State ISIS group who had been planning a suicide bomb attack on Kazansky Cathedral on December 16, the Kremlin said. The Russian president thanked his American colleague for the information passed on by the Central Intelligence Agency, which helped detain a group of terrorists preparing explosions in St. Petersburg. Berg's Kazansky Cathedral and other busy sites in the city. The Kremlin did not give any details of the identity of the people detained. In their phone call, Mr. Putin asked Mr. Trump to pass on his thanks to the CIA officers who had gathered the intelligence and Putin said Russia would alert U.S. authorities if it received information about any attack being planned on the United States. Despite the positive phone call, relations between Washington and Moscow are fraught because of disagreements over Ukraine, Syria and arms control. Exacerbating this are allegations from within Washington, denied by Russia, the Kremlin meddled in last year's U.S. presidential election. However Russian officials say Mr. Putin believes Mr. Trump is not to blame for the tension and has tried to keep personal lines of communication open between the two leaders. Getty Trump and Putin enjoy good relations despite official tension between their two staff Russian leader has said restoring ties between Moscow and Washington is vital because the two countries need to work together to counter global challenges, in particular the threat from violent Islamist radicals. Russia has repeatedly been the target of attacks by Islamist groups. In April this year, 14 people were killed when an explosion tore through a train carriage in a metro tunnel in St. Petersburg. Russian police detained several suspects from mainly Muslim states in ex-Soviet Central Asia. Getty Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin spoke on the phone today in October 2015. ISIS used an improvised bomb to bring down a Russian airliner over Egypt's Sinai Peninsula, killing all 224 people on board. In December 2013, two suicide bombers killed 34 people in attacks on a railway station and trolleybus in the Russian city of Volgograd. More than 30 people were killed and around 130 injured in a suicide bombing at Moscow's Domagedov airport in January 2011. A year earlier, blasts struck Moscow metro stations during rush hour, killing 40 people.